Right, guys, welcome to question number two. It is a lovely psychodynamic approach question. Four marks on the structure of personality. There's nothing massively complicated about this in terms of the way that the question is phrased. There's no application. There's nothing specific that we need to include. Um, it's just a four marker explaining effectively the id, the ego, and the superego. Okay, this is an A level piece of content, which means that there is a lot of potential information that you could include here. Um, so there's a lot of ways that you could go about writing this answer. The way that I'm going to show you is just one of many ways. Okay, so let's have a look at how we're going to do this. So I think the first little section is kind of essential for your four marks. Okay, so I think it's important to recognize that personality is made up of three parts, and those three parts are the id, the ego, and the superego. Okay, you can use Freud's terminology if you want and refer to it as a tripartite, that's also fine, but just a little appreciation of the fact that it is made up of three parts is important at the beginning. Okay, we'll then talk about the id. Okay, and the it is present at birth, it's selfish, it's irrational, it's emotional, it demands instant gratification. Okay, there is a little bit of detail that I haven't included. You could talk about the fact that it is in your unconscious mind if you wanted to. I haven't put that in simply because I'm trying to work out what detail to include for each of them. Okay, if you write something like that though, that is perfectly fine for the id. Moving on, the second part is the ego. It forms around the age of two years old. So this is an extra piece of information that I didn't include for the id, but I am putting it in for the ego. Its job is to mediate between the id and the superego, and it works off the reality principle. Okay, notice how for this one as well, I did put in that it's part of the conscious mind rather than the unconscious mind. But again, I'm just doing a little bit of a mixed match of details for the different things that I'm talking about. Okay, and then finally we have the superego. Superego is our morality and it is based off the values of our same sex parent. It's part of our unconscious mind and it punishes us with feelings of guilt. Okay, so again, I didn't talk about the fact um, that it emerges around the age of five. I didn't talk about anything like that. Um, other bits of detail that you could have put in there is that it emerges in the phallic stage after the resolution of the Oedipus complex or the Electra complex, for example. That would also have been fine. You could have done that for any of the others as well. These are all details that you could potentially have added in if you wanted to, but you didn't necessarily have to. Like I said, there's a lot of detail that you could include for the psychodynamic approach. Okay, but as it stands, we have the structure of personality as a tripartite, and then we have the id, the ego, and the superego. Okay, I hope that's made sense. I'll see you in question number three.